Hey what's going on guys, it's Muni here and today I've got my squad builder and we're going to be covering the Barclays Premier League. So we'll start, this is going to be quite an expensive squad so it's not going to be one of these like quite, I don't think I've ever done really a cheap squad, I think the lowest has been the SPL. But we'll start with the goalkeeper, um, probably just because I'm a Liverpool fan, I've chose Pepe Reina, there is also Czech of course. But Reina is a top top keeper, also Joe Haas as well, who I've played an absolute blinder in the um, Carlin Cup semi-final both legs as well. But 3000 you pay for Reina, a top keeper. There's a choice of three in this league. I hope I'm not forgetting anyone. There's a couple of informs as well. But our left back is going to be Jose Enrique. Even though he's a 79, I was a bit biased when I was getting him because of Liverpool. He's a fantastic left back in the game. Look, this, his stats are pretty consistent all the way throughout except shooting. And he's actually really fast. He looks a lot faster than he's got stats wise. I definitely recommend him. Quite cheap as well, 1300. So. Move on to the centre back. Our first centre back is going to be Vincent Company. Again, just one of probably one of the best centre backs in the Premier League that you can get for quite a reasonable price. Eight grand for this guy. Got good pace. Got obviously really good defending. Heading is seventy seven, but I totally disagree with that. He's got really good heading. Again, dribbling and passing is seventy two and seventy one. So. Very good all-round player, and his partner is going to be David Luiz. I like him because I did have him in my Brazilian team. I really liked him as a centre-back, so I've put him in my Premier League team. He's going to cost you about 4500 His price may have dropped since my Brazilian team, but mainly because of the pace. But he's actually quite a solid defender. Definitely not a solid defender in real life. More of a CDM. I think most people would agree with that. I think he'd be a brilliant CDM. But centre-back-wise, in FIFA, he's a brilliant player. Our right-back is going to be Glenn Johnson. Again, going to cost you about 1500 A very, very good player. Very fast as well and got good stats from passing down. So, again, another all good player. And it's a quite a very solid back four. Our first centre mid is going to be Yaya Torre. And he's going to be about twenty four grand for your for what you're looking for. And he's a very, very good player. Yaya Torre is one of my favourite centre mids. I usually, I'm going to put him in the, in the, in the middle because that's where I usually play him. And on 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 either th on either side of him, I have a centre attack mid. My first one being Modric again, good all round player, and for an eighty eight, he's a very very good player. He costs he cost me thirty two grand. I don't know if he's gone cheaper or his price has gone up because the market fluctuates so much. But he's a very good player and pairs with my right wing very well as well. You'll see in a minute. But very good playmaker and his finesse shots is brilliant. Our other centre mid is going to be a centre attack mid again, and that's David Silva. He's a fantastic playmaker. His, his through balls are absolutely amazing. He's going to cost you about 34 grand, David Silva. This is a very expensive midfield. I want to sell my SBL team. I'm thinking of getting Lampard in there to see how he goes. But, again, these are definitely... Silva and Yaya Torre definitely playmakers. Mod Modric is as well. A very, very good midfield. He sets up your attack perfectly. Quite high ranking as well. Our left wing is going to be Nani. And again, even though he's a Man U player, he's very good in FIFA. And I think he's the only Man U player I've got in this team. But I like him because he's a left winger. He's got five-star skills and he comes in on his right foot, which I really like in a winger. And he's going to cost you about 12k. So quite quite cheap, if, I, if, if, if I'm allowed to say that, for 12k. I know people might think 12k is a bit dear, but 12k for him. And he's a very, very good player. Our right wing is actually going to be a left wing. And that's because Bale. I really like Bale, but I don't like wingers playing on a on sort of like a left wing with the left foot i thought bale could pop in with modric there and he's brilliant bale is fantastic one of my favorite players in this team gonna cost you about 28 26k and when he lines up a powerful shot with his left foot it's an absolute rocket and he's got a very good finesse finish as well our striker quite surprising you'll probably think is going to be fernando torres when i've came up against him in tournaments he's not been great or in normal games but i thought i'd try him out and he's one he's one fantastic striker i actually did have van persie but i sold him on didn't really like the way he didn't fit in my style of play. But Fernando Torres is such a good striker on this game. He is for me. He probably won't be for other people, but I really like him. He's going to cost you about forty six grand. To start eleven, they're going to cost you one hundred and ninety two grand and three hundred coins. It's very expensive. It's not as expensive as you probably think. It's the midfield that drives the price up a lot in the left wing and the striker. But if you've been playing free for a while, I wouldn't say that's out of your reach amazingly but the substitutes probably will put this up with our spare centre back being for Marlon 1700 again good solid centre back just I prefer company and Louise our left back is cliche again another good left back 2500 and he's with Walker being 2500 as well these are just spare left backs and right backs more about the pace than the defender but cliche is quite a solid defender Walker he can be good he can be bad but for a 76 he's got really good stats as well our spare centre mid or oh, well one of our first spare centre mids is going to be Michael Essien 
7,500. He, he was going for 9,000 in the formation I've got there. And I got him on a buy now, 7,500. 7, Quite in peak time as well, so I was surprised I got that. So if you are, he may be a bit there when you go buy him, but he's a good all round player. Oh, the cent, oh, center attack mid is going to be Van der Vaart. He's going to cost you about 23 grand. He's, he's okay. He's not been great for me. I do prefer David Silva with his left foot. He seems a bit better than Van der Vaart, but. People to their own. I prefer Silver than Van der Vaart, and he's just on the bench. He can come in and say, I tell you, he's a fantastic substitution to have. A left wingers Mata. I'm thinking of swapping him for Inform Bellamy. Once I sell my SBL team, I'm going to get the coins for that. But he's going to cost you 5,200 coins, and he's got a rocket of a left foot. But again, I said I don't like wingers, say a left winger with a left foot. Again, Walcott, again, mainly just there because there's no real other good right wingers. I didn't try Jovino, and I don't want to try Jovino. So Walcott's there just to come out as sort of an impact substitution. He's all right, like, not too great. He's got about 4,000 coins. He has got a decent shot on him as well. And then our most expensive player in the team doesn't even get the substitute defence, and that's because I'd like, I just did him in order, you know, from centre-back to striker. And it's Aguero, 88k. I haven't played with him too much, so I can't make a really good decision on how, how he plays for me. But I prepare Torres at the moment. I have only played three games with Aguero. But I say if you got the money, buy Aguero, because he, see, he, seems to, he seems dead sharp and quick to the ball, but he likes to move on to the left and right a lot, so... It's up to you whether you get him. 88k. The whole squad costs 326 grand, 700 coins. So hopefully, if you've got the money, you can buy it. If not, of course, you can take people out. There is other really good midfielders you can get for cheap as well. But make the team. You want any other teams you'd like to recommend for me to make, please feel free to leave in the comments below. It may be a really cheap team. It may be a bargain team. It may be an absolute, like, a really good team, a really good ranked team, uh, such as a Liga Bavaria or Serie A, which I haven't done, or another silver team, whichever you enjoy. So hopefully you enjoyed the video, guys. Leave a like if you think the video deserves it. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys later.